I would say the Bever family was well-to-do and they lived comfortably. A lot of large families don't have the money for all the older children to have cell phones and laptops and, and gaming systems. These children had that. All the children were getting their education online and also obviously were availing themselves to online information. But teenage boys spend a lot of time gaming and on YouTube. Robert, the oldest, posts several videos he created at home under the screen name Colt Empire Official. Hey everyone, it's me Colt Empire. This is the second first ever update, so I'm being a little more chillinated. I'm going to make my first skit soon. Can't show you a sneak preview or it would ruin it. It'd be like a minute long. It's, it's, it's going to be some good stuff. I think it's going to be hilarious. He'd just talk about random things anything that he might have thought was interesting. He was also pretty avid online. The family are homebodies for the most part. They don't attend any area churches and choose to educate their seven children at home. They were involved in a homeschool association that went out and did field trips, that went out, they were part of a bowling league. They, they went out and did things. But as a whole, the family was a very tight-knit family and spent a lot of time with themselves. Most of the nine members of the Bever family had gone to bed by 11.30 p.m. on July 22, 2015, a hot summer night in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. We're talking middle of July, so you just had one of those July thunderstorms come through. Still lightning in the background. It felt like it was going to rain again. Bear 911. Bear 911. Hello? There was a 911 call that was uh, not detailed at all. Hi, where are you at? Bacon Out, Oklahoma, 7411. What address? <laughs> Magnolia the call is coming from 709 Magnolia Court, the Bever family house. 12-year-old Daniel Bever is on the line with 911. Hi, what's going on there? What's going on there? Hello? Hello? Thank you.